This is the best yogurt ever. Take some of that, put it in a bowl. I actually found these the other day at Savers in Huntington Beach. They're little melamine bowls. That yogurt with a little bit of honey um, and then granola and a banana, some coffee. I'm back on the coffee kick. This is probably TMI, but I started taking fiber. It's just regular old fiber. And you know how, oh man, I'm like contemplating whether or not telling you guys, but I mean, fiber is good, right? And you get it in your vegetables, if you eat a lot of vegetables, which I, I try to, but I don't that much. And the great thing about taking vitamins or taking uh, fiber pills every day is that when you go like empty out in the morning, when you wipe, you barely use any toilet paper. It's like one wipe and you're good. So I've been doing it for like a, a week and a whole week straight. There's like, I'm barely using any toilet paper, which is fantastic, which is the ultimate like money saver, right? Because not only do you get your fiber in, you also save toilet paper, save water if you use, um, I don't know those bidets. So I take fiber every day. I also take D3, um, a women's one a day, two fish oil pills, which, oh man, I don't really like it because sometimes it comes back up and I can taste it in my mouth. So I always try to take it with food so that it just completes, you know? And then also, um, this is something new that I started taking, magnesium because I've been like having shoulder pain, which is starting to go away, but um, it's supposed to relax your muscles. So yeah, I'm gonna have this with breakfast. So this morning, I just did a shoot with De La Fuente and oh, Natalie from Three Woman Co. It's like a vintage clothing brand, but it's the first time like working together on a shoot and it was so fun. Like they got here at 10, we finished around one and um, Man, it was just so fantastic working with women, you know? Like, it's it felt so, like, natural. And I think it's also their friendship because they've known each other for a really long time and they're kind of, like, um, I, I guess in the way that Maddie and I are, I, like, they just kind of kid around with each other and they're not, like, so serious or anything. And they know what they want, which is great because when you're meeting up with strangers and you're shooting with them, if they don't give you direction you feel kind of like you have to be polite and stuff you know and I love that she knew exactly how she wanted me to position what to wear and like I don't know it was just so much fun I can't wait for the photos to come out and they had a bunch of not just vintage clothing but antique clothing which is a whole nother era right I had a shirt on from the 1800s this was just so much fun and Time flew by so quickly and I was like, almost wanted, because they were going to another shoot right after this, I almost wanted to be like, hey, if you want me to come help, I'd like love to steam stuff, you know, like just hang out and stuff, because it felt so productive and I don't know. I really like their style too. Oh, De La Fuente is a hat company. I just really like her stuff and I love her spirit. And um, she moved to Portland and is living on a farm now. So I follow her Instagram and every once in a while she'll post, you know, things about her life and um, about the millions of animals that she has. Yeah, just really fun to follow along. So follow De La Fuente and like she's really into hats. And if you have been watching me for like 15 years or so, you know that I used to work for a hat company for like six years. So I'm a fan of her work. Woody here. He just got his shots yesterday. So he's feeling kind of drowsy oh i feel so bad but he's not feeling as bad as sanu who is over here she's been just laying on this heated blanket all morning and neither of them have had their breakfast oh there's sanu are you feeling better baby did you have breakfast yet she's Oh my god, she's so sweet. Aww. She's just, oh, she's just not feeling good. It's okay, Sanu. She's like a little bit younger than Woody. Well, actually a lot of bit younger than Woody. And we always joke that Woody, when he was younger, like he's he spent like six years of his life without her, right? Or no, he's 11 and she's maybe seven or eight. So he spent a huge chunk of his life without her. Yeah, this is Woody. He's such a sweetheart. 
and he spent like a huge chunk of his life without her so he was like you know really lonely so we we don't know what their lives were like before us but we always like talk about how like he was probably really lonely because his um owners at the time they were like you know always on like shoots and like just out of town or like they're like travel people you know so he was probably just at home and like just so lonely and then eventually Sanu came around and he's like so happy because he's like so obsessed with her and he's so in love with her that I can only imagine you know what his life was like before her because he's such a loving baby he's 11 I just love him so much she's like the light of his life and she's never known life without him really because she came into their lives as a kitten Excuse the mess. So last night, I went out with a couple of my friends from the pottery studio and we went to a Korean barbecue spot called Origins and it's a 1960s soul vibe. And I guess the whole point of this Korean barbecue place is um, it's the art of Sam, which is like a Korean lettuce wrap and gosh, it was delicious. There's radish, there's rice paper, there is um, a ton of different types of meat, and there's this condiment that they make there called samjang, I think, and it's a fermented barley condiment basically, and it went well with everything, and I had so much fun because I haven't had a girls night in a while. I'm just so stoked that I got to do that and invite some friends and, you know, just spend some time with some girls from the studio, which is, you know, like, that's usually our third place, right? So there's work and home. For me, work and home is the same. And then I have the studio space, which would be my second place, which is also kind of like work. And it's so important to have a third place outside of your work and home. So it was just nice to have like a different, like a fourth place to go to and enjoy people from your third place, if that makes any sense. Dossie and I were talking about third places a while ago and she was like, yeah, people are happiest when they have a third place. It's kind of like um, during the pandemic when everyone started working from home, people felt really um, sick of just being in one stagnant place. So, you know, going to the dog park or going to the gym or whatever, um, just getting outside of your work and home um, does a lot for your mental health, obviously. Right now I'm getting ready to go over to Maddie's house because we have this mattress um, this fold up to Tommy style mattress that we share um, whenever she has family over she uses it and whenever I have family over or friends over I'll use it at my house and it's just great because I turned this room into an office so I got rid of the bed and the bed frame and everything and so whenever someone wants to come over I have this like fold out mattress situation that's actually really comfy because it's memory foam rather than using a blow up mattress which is not comfy at all um, yeah, so I'm gonna go pick that up from Maddie's house. Dang, she really reminds me of Woody. Maybe I can bring some of that Ilya stuff for you guys too. Oh, wow, thank you. Yeah. I really like your uh, TikTok that you made. Oh, thanks. Wait, so, okay, so this is Maddie's like to-do list. This is such a great idea. I love the paper on the table. Is this just like, um, Background paper? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. It's like a constellation, like galaxy, right? So you start off with, I guess, a point, and then you like work your way yeah. out. Like um, brain exactly. brainstorming, yeah. Yeah. Wow, I really like this. But it looks like, yeah, it really does look like a galaxy. That's a black hole, because that, that was stuff that I didn't want to do. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, videos. Aw. What's Monday the 4th? Oh, we were we just made a joke. I, I got a bunch of stuff done on Sunday, which was the 3rd. Yeah. And then Thomas was like, well, Monday is the 4th. I had a bunch of stuff to do on Monday. Oh, I see, I see. Dang, these are so many commissions. Yeah. Yeah, good job. He da 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 important dates. Yay! <laughs> hey. Hey, but also... Can you add in March 16th? Oh, is that when your thing is? Yeah, okay, at yeah. Deus. Oh shit, wait, what time is that? Probably the night, the night time? Yeah, like six to nine, I think. Okay. 
Uh, it's, it's not a big deal. No, I'm going to be there. I probably won't do anything on my actual birthday because uh, Caitlin's in town. So we're just going to hang out. Okay, well, I'll, I'll mark this. Sweet, sweet. And then the Princess Peach game comes out, just in case anyone wanted to know. Lame. And then that Nintendo Switch. <laughs> yeah, I know. Very nice, very nice. Okay, okay. Violet! Violet, let the world know! Let the world know! She just submits. I was the DJ tonight and... Ah! I hate it, but I'm running a little bit behind. I think tardiness is my least favorite thing, especially, but you know what? It's not my DJ night, so I guess it doesn't count. Anyway, um, I made myself some dinner. This is a fried egg, Brussels sprouts and bacon. So I did the Brussels, no, the bacon first, used the fat to cook the Brussels, and then uh, put a little bit of olive oil in there and cooked the egg. And it's kind of a really runny egg, so it'll be my sauce. It's hard to like motivate myself to cook for myself when Jason's gone because he's the light of my life and I love cooking for him. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then <laughs> and then take one of these and then uh, go to this go to the bar because I don't drink anymore. This is the Vietnamese way to make coffee. This is sweet and condensed milk. It's from one of those cans. But what I did was punch it out on both sides and then drained it into here. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I've been keeping in my bag because yesterday I'm gonna take about this much, like a rounded teaspoon. I was supposed to go to a picnic to go to a friend's birthday party and she dropped a pin and I parked in this neighborhood and the walk to the spot wasn't that, it didn't seem like that far. So then I was like, I'll just get out and walk. So I got out and walked and boy, I fell because it rained the night before, the whole day before. Everything was super slippery, slippery and my um, I was wearing Rafi belly flats and um, it got caught in the mud and I fell and I got mud everywhere so I had to wash everything. But I was wearing this bag and it's the one from Can, Con, K-A-A-N. It's really uh, resilient. Because I went down, mud everywhere, and all I did when I got home was I rinsed it off and it just like just came right off. And so I hung it up to dry overnight and it's completely dry now so I can put everything back into this tote. There's a little like pocket in here. So in that, I'm going to put in my wallet. This one is from Monocle, like the magazine. And then, what else did I have in here? my vitamins, which I need to take some today. I have my phone case. This is actually from my headphones, but I use it for my, oh, I'm sorry. This is what where I keep my camera, but this bag is for my headphones. Um, I've got this little baggie right here that's made from scraps of an apron from a, an apron company called Stanley and Sons. I got headphones in here. These are from Bose. They're, I don't usually like um, in-ear headphones, but when I'm on the go, like it kind of helps because my hair hides it. Um, but usually I wear over the head headphones because I have this ginger flight therapy because I get car sick really easily. Eye drops, hand warmers. The last thing I have in here is a knife that is called the Kershaw Leak. Jason got me this one year for, I think for my birthday or something like that, and it really comes in handy. The Korean barbecue place that we went to the other day with the Pottery Girls. My sunglasses. These, wait, I have two pair here. Um, these are, like, if you're in the military, I think this was in the 60s or 70s, they give you the standard issue frames. Maybe you have to buy them. But, um, so every man and woman had to wear these glasses and put their prescription in it. And then, um, eventually, you know, they stopped making them. So these are dead stock. And then what I've been doing is just buying lenses or cutting lenses for them. It's like around $35 to get lenses cut. So I have one that's like slightly see-through. And then these are zero base. So they're just like flat. I think they call them birth control glasses because they're so ugly that no one 
it's basically birth control, you know, you'll never get pregnant. Well, you'll never get a girl pregnant or whatever it is. I have one of these because I just finished um, some produce. Uh, whenever I go to the market and stuff, I'll put produce in here and then, yes, yeah, so I just have this stuff. I can put it in my car. Hand cream. This is the best hand cream. If you're a ceramicist, you got to use this. I started wearing SPF every day because I'm wearing retinol and uh, this I got mostly because it smells so good. Um, this is the super spritz from Vacation. Anything from Vacation, the sunscreen brand is, it just smells so good. It's like Hawaiian, tropical, um, banana boat, uh, coconutty, you know what I mean? But I haven't really used it because I wear sunscreen every day. And I never really think about reapplying. I should have reapplied yesterday because I have this in the back. I just need to get the routine going. Yesterday at uh, Good Housekeeping, um, a bunch of my friends came out. Maddie came out. Katie Dalebout came out. Um, and Katie brought a cake because she's not going to be in town for my birthday. And yeah, it made me feel really special. She baked a freaking cake, which I need to go to her workplace today to return the plate that she brought it in. But I transferred it over to here. It's a flourless cake. Because she made one for someone else. And I saw it and I, I just loved it. So... This is it, how pretty. And it tastes so good too. I gotta get her recipe or get her back here doing another cake video or something. It is so cute. I think her cakes are just so special. And then she gave me a little present right here, um, which I've already opened up. Um, I ate one of these. This is, this is from Sip Snack, which is where she works in Highland Park. This is sweet licorice bites candy. So whenever I go in, I used to bike in every Friday at a certain time and then buy one of these, but it's usually, um, I think like covered in like this powdery substance that looks like, it's like salty sweet. And then I get, get it for Jason cause that's what he grew up on and he really likes it. And it's got this like anise like burn up here. She got one for Jason too, so I put it on his desk. And then, she gave me one of these, which is, she gave me another one, which I absolutely love. This is a lip gloss or lip stain um, that you apply. It applies like dark purple, almost black, and then you leave it on for a little bit and then you remove it and it just stains your lips all day and it's perfect. And then this is the, <sighs> okay, so this, I went into the shop that she worked at, which is where they sell this. And, um, it's the vacation sunscreen that I love. Again, the spray on sunscreen. I also have like the regular sunscreen, but this, I came in, I'm like, oh my gosh, they make perfume now? <gasps> okay, vacation by vacation, eau de toilette. And look, it looks so like 1980s. I mean, the whole vibe of this brand is very 1980s um, poolside party. This packaging is so like Chanel number no. five vibes. I love this scent. Again, it's Hawaiian vacation, banana boat, sunscreen, um, coconuts, that kind of vibe in terms of scent. I was so excited. I sprayed it on right away and a group of people were like, whoa, what's that smell, you know? And it was this. I think it's not that crazy in terms of price. This bottle's pretty small. It's only one fluid ounce, but I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be my new signature scent. I'm gonna just leave this in the bathroom and just spray it on. Maddie has her perfume in her house, like just spritzed around everywhere or just laid around everywhere. So whenever she leaves, she just grabs a random one and sprays it on. And I have mine all tucked away. So I never think about it, obviously, cause it's not like in visual sight, right? So I think in order to wear this more, I need to just leave it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm so excited about this. Also, I need to tell you, I was wearing my Rothy's on that hike and it just got trashed. Like it got stuck in the mud and just so caked up and gunked up with um, with mud and stuff. And I've been wearing for like a whole month straight. So they just needed a wash and you can wash them. I was just putting it off for a while. So I took the insoles out, washed it, and it looks freaking brand new. There's no like mark of memory, I guess in them at all so they just like reverted back to new and then the shoes that themselves i mean it looks like i haven't worn them at all even the bottom like 
there's no wear and tear or anything and i've been wearing these every single day for a month a month and a half they haven't misshapen or anything they just look freaking brand new rockies are so great and they're such a cute shape and they're you know just a classic ballerina flat um yeah they just go well with everything i need to do a styling video with this because it really goes with everything dresses up outfits dresses down outfits my goodness i don't know why i forgot this this is the coolest thing ever i found out about this through my friend cecilia she used this the last time i hung out with her she took some photos on a like point and shoot camera and then immediately took the sd card out plugged it in here and then put it directly in her phone so she didn't have to be by a computer and oftentimes whenever i take photos on this camera the photos on this camera turn out so good but I have to wait until I get home. I can't just like post it on the spot. So this is great for that. I went out to run some errands. I went to Meals, which is where I got these pants. Um, I got them a few years ago, but I went to the store because I was at a thrift store a few weeks ago and found these um, recipe cards. And I know that Sam uh, collects them, so brought it to him and then I also gave him a pizza anyway but when I showed up as I was walking up I was like oh man I'm wearing these pants again today you know which I wear them all the time but usually if I go to a shop that belongs to a friend I don't wear their thing to the shop not that I don't want to support them but because it just feels like you're wearing a Metallica shirt to a Metallica concert you know what I mean I have the thought in my head and I'm like no it's just like it's just in my head and as I'm walking up, he's like, oh, gee, it's like wearing a band shirt to a band concert. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I, I thought that, you know? Afterwards, I stopped at Dacia's work, which is LA Home Farm. It's a shoppy shop, like, grocery. And I got some radishes. I think these are watermelon radishes. Well, no, they're probably not, huh? I guess we'll see. Um, I'll cut into them because I'm making a salad. Oh, and then she said... You should get this dressing because it's delicious. This is a lemon caper dressing and sauce. Kate from Bite Size said that this is the best dressing ever too. I think either on her Instagram or, I don't know, maybe on her um, newsletter, which you should be on her sub stack. If you're not, you're missing out because she recommends so many cool things. Sugar snap peas, I wanted to use this up, so yeah. Oh. oh my god okay this is really good yeah i always look at the back and see how they or what's in it and this is like pretty straightforward um extra virgin olive oil apple cider vinegar lemon juice almonds capers dijon mustard garlic sea salt and black pepper super straightforward i'm gonna try and make it after this but we'll see I found this, which is my mom's, one of my mom's favorite fruit. It's pretty hard to find, and yeah, I think it's Jason's sister's favorite fruit too. I believe this is a soursop, or guanabana. Um, let's see, soursop. Yeah, soursop. I love the taste of it, but I can't eat things with seeds in it, because it just gives me the heebie-jeebies, so um, I got it for Jason. and. He can give it to Lisa if he happens to see Lisa for them. If not, he can just eat it himself. One of these. I figured these would be good for like lettuce cups. My sister got me this beautiful knife for Christmas. I'm obsessed. Or like this. Long ways. Better. So we got sugar snap peas cut long ways and horizontally. Long ways, horizontal. Sliced carrots, thinly sliced carrots, like coins. Some shallot, diced and sliced. I think I need a bigger salad bowl to mix this up. A handful of raw almonds. The 
Parmesan is a must. I love the shallots in this because I'm going to make myself another bowl. So freaking good. A runny egg on top. And then let the egg, the yolk of the egg, create a sauce. 